Great atmosphere, uh, great crowd. I uh, thought the environment, TV game, a uh, great way to showcase our league. It's a great crowd and two very good basketball teams. Coach Cooper's done a tremendous job in his couple years here, uh, getting Tennessee State to one of the top couple teams in the league. Uh, you know, they're definitely the second seed in the league, and it'll be a, a tough out of the tournament, and I'm sure they'll be in some t sort of postseason play. Um, so credit them on a tremendous year. I know this was their last game of the season before uh, next week's OVC tournament, but proud of our guys. Um, they've been really focused and locked in, especially on the defensive end. Um, I thought they got some easy baskets in transition to start the game, but a tremendous run to end the first half, and I thought that was really the, the difference in the game. Um, but defensively, I thought uh, after the first five minutes of the Austin P game to the SEMO game, to St. Mary's until now, I thought we've been really locked in and uh, happy for our guys. Uh, and we've got one more road trip to make, and that's at Tennessee Tech. And that right is almost going to be a sellout down there, so we're going to have to be locked in again. We need to get rest tonight. We need to figure out what they do within the next 24 hours and be ready to play. I don't know if it's a statement game. It's just. We just want to, I just want so much for these guys. I just want a lot for them. Our staff wants a lot for them and our program and our university and uh, for our seniors. And we got a good basketball team and we want to just continue to let the country know that. They made a run there in the second half, cut it to 10, but it seemed like the three pointers were different. Yeah, they, I think they, they may have started this half on a 5 or 5 0 run, 7 0 run, and they got it to 10, but we were able to respond. And then we got it back up, and I think at the 14, 15 minute mark, we were back to 17. And Juwan got a big time steal to get it to 19, and he had another steal that he missed the dunk to get it up 21. And uh, we turned it over and made a couple poor decisions against the press. And it was just some lackadaisical errors. We slipped, we made a poor, poor pass, and gave them opportunity to keep it around 13, 15. But um, credit our guys. Uh, they, they, they hurt us on the glass. I need to watch again, Covington. <laughs> It was really just Covington, but Covington hurt us on the glass. I need to watch and see what happened there. Um, but, you know, what, what defines our team is one play. And Isaiah Cannon is, is, you know, without a doubt a tremendous talent. But it's 42 to 28, and he's playing extremely well. And he could shoot a 20-footer to end the half. And I probably wouldn't blink an eye and make or miss. That's fine. But he gives it up to Dante, and Dante hits a corner three, and we go up 17. And I think that summarizes our basketball team. Is there a feeling, though, of they're not going to come back on us again after what happened last time? Uh, we didn't talk about that. We haven't even talked about the last game outside of we didn't rebound the ball the last 10 minutes of the game. We've got to do a better job containing the basketball and being in gaps and not letting them dribble penetrate and contest threes. That was it. It's not everybody kept asking me it's about revenge. No, you're not, you're not playing basketball for revenge. I mean, uh, I got a lot of respect for Coach Cooper. It's not about revenge. It's just about... We're trying to win as many basketball games as we possibly can. We're trying to get better as a basketball team. And they showed us what we needed to get better at.